It has happened. The rumors were true. The seal has been broken. We already knew that some Dark Angels were coming in the form of the Deathwing Knights and Asmodai, but the long-standing rumors of a whole Deathwing-themed box set alongside with Belial, which have been swirling for months and months now, have now been confirmed. There is a new box set, there is a new upgrade sprue, there is a new Belial. Dark Angels are going to be eating good in 2024. So yes, on Christmas Day, as seems to be tradition lately for GW, following on from Lazarus and Azrael, we got our first look at another revamped Dark Angel model, and this time it is Belial. His current resin model is, I won't lie, probably one of my least favourite sculpts GW have ever done. I just hate everything about it. So for me, anything was going to be an improvement, but my word, GW have done a good job with this new Belial. I absolutely love it. I love his pose. It is dynamic without being over the top. It's not just that boring front facing sword raised vanilla pose. He is actually moving with purpose and he is actually turning to get a shot off at his enemy. It just looks so dynamic and real, which I really, really like. I think it's going to be so much fun to see this guy on the battlefield and just like turning his base so that he is actually shooting at your opponent even as he you know walks towards an objective or something. Maybe that's just something that I do but I really like the whole idea of, of not moving anything to get like an advantage in terms of extra movement but just moving a base so that the direction the model is meant to be facing the way that I've modeled it is the direction that they're actually looking towards the enemy and I think Belial's model, this new model, is going to just make that side of things for me really really fun. He looks like he's going to be so much fun to paint as well. He has got that brilliant tabard and cloak. He's got so much ornamentation on his sword, the base, his armor. Even his storm bolter is super super fancy. It is just all around in my opinion a fantastic kit and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. He looks to be on a fairly big-ish base. I've heard some people say it may be a 50mm. I don't think we're 100% sure either way, but it does look slightly bigger than the base that they showed that Asmodai was on. So whether Asmodai is on a 32 and Belial's on a 40, or if Asmodai is on a 40, which I think would make more sense, and then Belial may be on a 50, I guess we won't know until we see them actually in person. But I just, I cannot wait. I kind of hope he is on a 50 mil base because that would give him that extra gravitas and that presence on the board. But either way, Belial is back with his Storm Bolter and the Sword of Silence. And in my opinion, he looks amazing. But that isn't all because he's coming in his own box set alongside five of the brand new Deathwing Knights and 10 Terminators. But to make those Terminators extra special, this box also has two of the brand new Dark Angel upgrade sprues which are coming. And this sprue is packed. It is a big, big change from the current upgrade sprue. So if you want all those Ravenwing bits of bling and pieces and the assault cannons that are in the current sprue, I would recommend getting your hands on some now because I'm 99% certain that when this new sprue comes out, the old one will no longer be available. But this sprue has got a load of stuff on it. It's got a plasma cannon. It's got 11 new helmets, including a Terminator helmet. It's got a load of shoulder pads, what looks to be 20 by my count. Some books and other bits of bling to, to kit out your marines. It's got a unique watcher in the dark and also a hussar style back banner for your outriders. So yes, we can now officially finally make some Ravenwing styled outriders, which is really cool. And I will say, Yes, it is a shame that you only get one. I think some people will say this upgrade sprue doesn't quite go far enough with what is in it, which is a fair point. It would be nice if there were three back banners so you could do all three of a Outrider uh, squad with them. But I still think this upgrade sprue is really, really good and it is going to allow you to really customize your Deathwing, your Ravenwing and your Greenwing enough, I think, to really make, at the very least, sergeants and heroes and other special characters stand out really nicely. So I am super excited about this. I think it is a genuinely great upgrade sprue all round. And getting two in this set 
will very much go a long way to making sure that all of your Terminators, your Knights, and of course Belial will look fantastic by the time you've built them up. It is worth mentioning here, just because of what we've seen in the upgrade sprue, it looks like the Deathwing Command Squad may be gone in the new codex. There is no mention of an Apothecary, a Champion, or an Ancient like the current Triple Kit can build, and there is nothing visible on the upgrade sprue that will allow you to do that. So it may be that that option is gone in the codex, which is a shame, but there is at least still things like the Ancient in Terminator Armor from the main marine book, so I'm hoping that in some form or another you will be able to at least use the current things like the, the Ancient and the Apothecary and the Champion if you've built it, but just a bit of warning, because I've got three of them standing right next to me as I speak on my shelf now, if you have built the Apothecary, the Champion and the Ancient from the current triple kit that we have, they may not be fully usable as they were before, when the new codex comes. However, back onto good news, because on top of all that, this box comes with the Dark Angel Codex, the new codex. So this is gonna be your first place to get your hands on it and play around with all the new detachments we're gonna be getting. And I think just all round, this is a fantastic box. It is gonna be a great way to get started on a new Deathwing detachment, or just add to a force of Terminators you already have. As of current Dark Angel points costs, this works out to be 85 points for Belial, 400 points for the 10 Terminators and 235 for the Knights, meaning that this box alone will net you around 720 points worth of models. That may well change in the new codex, but just going by what we know now. So it is a good way to get started. And then if you add in the Lion, that brings you to a solid 1,100 points. So if you already have another 10 Terminators, that's another 400 points. That brings you to a really nice, really fun 1500 point list. May not be the most competitive, but the Lion, Belial, 20 Terminators and 5 Deathwing Knights. That's a cool army to have on the table. And for 1500 points, I think that would be a really fun one to play with your friends. However, we're not done there because that isn't all. It isn't just Asmodai, the Deathwing Knights, the Upgrade Sprue and Belial, which are getting new models with the Codex. No, indeed, a long-awaited, much feared, and very mysterious unit is also joining the ranks of the Unforgiven. Or maybe I should say the Forgiven, because a wholly brand new unit is coming, the Inner Circle Companions. Now these may sound familiar if you've played Heresy, because of course we have the Deathwing Companions in Heresy, but these guys are much more blinged out, they've got robes, they look awesome, they are just stunning. They are easily one of my favorite looking units ever. They just ooze every single bit of the cool, shady, mysterious Dark Angel style that I just adore. I genuinely think that each one of these could be full-on characters in any other army. They are just so wonderfully posed and designed and they just I mean, all Dark Angels look cool. I think most people would be hard to argue that the Dark Angel range in 40k and 30k is one of the most well done that GW have done just overall. But these guys especially, I think they've knocked it out the park. These are fantastic. The whole lore for them I don't think has been fully revealed, but they essentially appear and serve as bodyguards to HQs and characters like Belial, Azrael, and even Asmodai, and they also have Calibanite greatswords, so I imagine they are going to be really rather choppy in close combat. I have a feeling they're going to be some kind of company veteran slash blade guard style unit with the ability to dish out a load of damage at decent strength, good AP, and hopefully more than one or two damage. They really do just look brilliant. They sound awesomely cool from the tidbits of lore that we have so far. And I just honestly can't wait to get my hands on them as well as get my hands on the codex so we can actually get a bit more lore and backstory because with the lion returning at the end of ninth, that kind of stopped with the, the Vashtor, what were the name of the books? I can't even remember the names of the books, but that kind of story stopped with the lion's book and we don't really know, at least until the codex comes out, what his interaction with the rest of the chapter has been, how his kind of reintroduction to the greater Imperium as a whole has gone. So I'm really looking forward to this new Dark Angels Codex. I think it's going to be an exceptionally good one 
for all of us fans of the law because it's going to have so much to cover now that the lion has returned. So that is the Christmas Day reveals. The Dark Angels are looking to be getting a very, very, very solid refresh. Asmodai, Belial, the Knights, the Companions, and an upgrade sprue. All it really leaves is the Ravenwing and things like Ezekiel and Samael to get their refresh. And then I genuinely think that the Unforgiven will have one of the most fully up-to-date chapters model-wise in all of 40k. So Dark Angel fans, we have a lot to be grateful for because we're not only getting a lot of new models, I think pretty much across the board they've all been really really well designed. So that's it for this video but as always what do you think of Belial? What do you think of the upgrade sprue? And what do you think of the companions? What else would you like to see for the Dark Angels maybe a bit further down the line? And also do you think we will see Samael and Ezekiel get updated this year? Or will they leave it for a bit later down the line and maybe give the Blood Angels or the Space Wolves a bit of love before they get redone? Let me know your thoughts and theories down in the comments below. I really would love to read all of them. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me. But until next time, I'll catch you later, guys.